Hello there everyone, how are you doing today? Today we're going to be reading a story titled Petrified Taken from the SCP archives The link to the story will be in the description below Now roll the intro Count Julius Productions You know how some places just have feelings attached to them? Like emotions associated with the actual physical location. Like whatever transpires in a place influences its aura. To start with, there is no camping except for backcountry camping inside the Petrified Forest National Park in Arizona. Too much theft of the jewel-like fossilized trees. But there is a free, quote-unquote, campground right outside don't stay there it's an evil place the energy is just bad all the cars in the parking lot had been there a long time there are 1950s and 1960s models every one of them has dusty windows and flat tires what happened to the owners the only person in the store a middle-aged hispanic or native american cashier looked and spoke like a dead woman. The store was full of taxidermies and insects in amber, as well as used to mark parking and hideous fake wooden teepees, with strange suedo Indian image on the outside, and big spiders and scorpions living inside. Both seemed vaguely sacrilegious. We couldn't decide what to do. We had been on the road with our kids about two weeks at that point, and until then we had had plenty of pleasant camping experiences. Steph, Stefan and I both lost our confidence. Jack wanted to go back to Holbrook, 20 miles away. Larry was just plain old scared. For the first and only time on the trip, we were all fighting and having meltdowns. There was a foul stench in the air emanating from an open ditch, and the wind was howling with strong gusts over forty miles per hour. The strange woman in the shop had flatly assured us it would die down at dusk. She lied. The only shelter from the wind was being a big concrete sign up on the little rise, but both Stefan and I had immediately had a bad feeling like something or someone had been buried there. Just as the sun began to set, two RVs pulled up to the campground. Their lights were gleaming inside and the occupants seemed content. We made a decision. We would stay and sleep in the car since the wind was blowing too hard to put up the tents on what bare, hard desert ground remained. I tried to cook dinner in the dark on a picnic table, but... The food just wouldn't cook. The noodles for the stroganoff started to turn into glop. The stench from the ditch whipped onto the wind over our dining area, causing us to lose our appetites. Jack and Larry saved the day, or at least the dinner, by rigging the tarp around the picnic table with duct tape. While I struggled with the camp stove, and Stephen re rearranged the car for us to sleep in. Eventually, the food was warm and edible. We ate in the dark. I tried to do the dishes, and we climbed in the cars to sleep. And that's when the place really started to get to us. Larry couldn't settle down. Jack felt weepy and began to openly cry. Stefan, sleeping in the driver's seat, and I tried to keep our spirits up by telling funny camping stories from when we were younger and made a similar trip before they were bored but eventually we lost the battle it was a long long night around two in the morning Stefan woke up talking about it to me later he describes hearing a low moaning on the furious wind eventually the dawn came we felt petrified ourselves we had a quick breakfast of coffee chorizo, potatoes, and eggs, and then repacked the car and left. 
I went to complain to the zombie cashier, but she wasn't there, and didn't seem to be evidence that she ever was. It had just been a place, because as soon as we left and went into the park, we were all happy again. It's just the bad karma place. There's something actually wrong with it. As we pulled out, I remember looking at those RVs again, wondering if they had a similar experience as us. Their tires were flat, and their windows dusty. Thank you for watching. Sorry for the short video today. Uh, I'm not feeling the greatest, but anyway, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Roll the outro. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, it helps the channel a lot. See you next time.